Hey, Sandy, I heard that you're going to the ocean. Yeah, I'm going to the ocean. And somebody gave me a, a, a necklace. Oh, I see your necklace. Isn't that nice? It's made out of shells. Yeah, yeah, I love shells. Oh, well, are you going to collect some shells when you go to the ocean? Yeah, I'm going to collect lots of shells. Well, I heard that you were going to the ocean, so I brought a few of my shells along to show you. Uh, the first one over here is in the shape of a star. Wow, I love stars. Well, that's a starfish. Yes, they're very beautiful. And then the one in the middle is called a conch shell. And people say that if you lift it up and listen to it, you can hear the ocean. I want to hear the ocean. <laughs> OK, maybe you can find one of those shells. And then the ones on the other side are smaller. And there's, there's even one little one here that looks like a horse. Can you see that one? It looks like a horse. I like it. Yeah, that's called a seahorse. Aren't they beautiful? They're terrible. They're beautiful. Well, you know, all of these shells, and shells are just the houses that uh, sea animals live in. And when the animals don't need the houses anymore, we can collect the shells. And so there's all different types of shells. But these shells tell us something about the God who created all of these animals. It does. That's right. It tells us that God is powerful and that God is very creative and that God loves beauty. I love beautiful things. Well, God does too. And it, he breathes life into everything that he creates. And we can see it in all of these shells. Wow, that tells me more about God. I love God. That's right. Well, but the shells and everything that God has created don't tell us about Jesus, the Savior that God sent. Yeah, you've got to look in the Bible for that. That's right, you've got to look in the Bible for that. But there is one shell that reminds us of the things that God has done for us in Jesus. Yeah, there is. That's right. In fact, I'm going to tell it to you because it's called the legend of the sand dollar. Really? That's right. Why is it called a dollar? Well, we'll find out. You sit down over here, and I'll get it out and show it to you, and I'll tell you the legend of the sand dollar. Sandy, this is the legend of the sand dollar. Now, you asked why they're called dollars. It's because many years ago, people used to have these kinds of dollars, these round ones like this. And so the sand dollar is round like that. But after a while, people got tired of holding so all these dollars, and they got too heavy, so we have paper dollars now. But the sand dollar is named after these kinds of silver dollars people used to carry. But the sand dollar reminds us about Jesus. Now, if you go down to the beach and find one of these, you'll see that they're always white. And that's because they're bleached by the sun, it's really a sea urchin, it's a shell, but they're bleached by the sun. And that reminds us that Jesus is pure and holy. He kept the Ten Commandments, he never sinned, and he gave his life for our sinful lives so that we could be forgiven. So the sand dollar is white, but if you look carefully here, you see a star. Can you see the star with the five points here? One, two, three, four, five. That reminds us of the star of Bethlehem. For it was the star of Bethlehem that led the wise men to find Jesus when he was born. But then there's something else about the sea urchin that reminds us about Jesus. Can you see that there's five holes there? There's five holes. One, two, three, four, five. Five holes. When Jesus died on the cross, there was five holes in his body. One on each of his hands and one on each of his feet. And then he was pierced in the side with a, a spear. And these five holes in the sand dollar remind us of the five wounds on the body of Jesus. But there's something else here that reminds us about Jesus. Because 
Jesus' body was broken. And his body was broken for us and so we could be forgiven. So I'm going to take this sand dollar and I'm going to break it. No, don't break it. Well, Jesus' body was broken for our sins so that we could be forgiven. I'm going to break this one because there's something special inside of it. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. I'm going to break it now. Oh, yes, there's something inside. There it is. Oh, there they are. Now you have to look closely, but you look closely. It looks like little birds. There are little birds in there. Now, the sign of the Holy Spirit is the dove. And so when Jesus died on the cross and he went back to heaven, he left us the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us to do what's right. It teaches us about Jesus. It strengthens us. It reminds us about Jesus. And so the Holy Spirit, the uh, sand dollar reminds us that even when Jesus' body was broken and he's gone, now back to heaven, the Holy Spirit is still there to help us to see what Jesus taught. Can you see those little, little, little uh, things that look like birds? That's what they're to remind us of the Holy Spirit that will come and help us. And so that is the legend of the sand dollar. I really liked that about the sand dollar. Yeah, that was really cool. That's right. It kind of reminds us about Jesus, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, just like the Bible. That's right. Well, I hope you have a wonderful time when you go to the ocean, and I hope you find a lot of shells. Hey, hey, I got a riddle for you. Oh, we got a riddle? Okay, give me a riddle. What flies all day but never goes anywhere? What flies all day but never goes anywhere? Yeah, what goes everywhere? Let's see. Let me think. Um, all right, I give up. It's a flag. A flag. All right, a flag flies all day but never goes anywhere. That's right. Well, Sandy, it was nice for you to come and be with us today. And if anybody wants to send us a letter, you can send it to 619 School Drive, Wadsworth, Ohio, 44281. Yeah, we want to hear from you. Okay, or you can send it to the email that's at the bottom of the screen. We'd love to hear from you. Bye, everybody. Okay, bye-bye now. watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.